Hello friends, this video on wastewater story part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at this picture which, which will give you a better understanding of how exactly this transportation happens. So let us look at this picture. This will give you a better idea of how this entire sewerage system works. So here you can see all the different houses and from every house some sewage will come out, right? So every house will, every house will have some waste water either from their toilets or from their kitchen sinks or from their other sinks which are present inside the house. So all this water will, all this waste water rather, they'll come out through this, uh, you see, the pipes which are present. So from all the houses, these pipes will come and they will join to a bigger pipe. And these pipes are called, whether they are small or big, they are called sewers. And this entire infrastructure that helps in transportation of sewage is known as sewerage. So here you see the sewage from the houses will come through these pipes and they will all join in this bigger pipe and then it will get transported to the sewage treatment plant. And what is going to happen in the sewage treatment plant? Here the pollutants will be removed from the wastewater and the water which will come out of the sewage treatment plant after treatment that is going to be a clean water. So you see here the clean water is blue in color, dirty water was black in color. And then this clean water will be disposed of into the water bodies. These water bodies could be ponds, rivers, lakes or oceans. So basically this is how the transportation part is taken care of. Now have you ever seen manholes on the uh, roads when you come down, come out of your house in your locality? So every 50-60 meters you will see manholes. Now we will talk about that. So basically manholes are also a part of sewerage. So as I said, these small and big pipes, they are called sewers. So sewers, receiving drains. Now in, in many localities, the drains are covered, which is obviously decent. In some localities, the drains are even opened so you actually get to see the dirty water flowing so that that's really disgusting so these receiving drains manholes all these are part of this entire sewerage system so this entire uh, infrastructure of sewerage starts at the at individual houses and it ends at the entry point to the sewage treatment plant so this is how the sewage transport system or sewerage looks like so now let's talk about manholes because this is something which I'm sure you would have come across in your day-to-day -day life. So you see here, this kind of, uh, when you walk down the street, just try to observe this and in certain places you will see a, a circular lead kind of a structure. So this is nothing but a manhole, what it is actually. So it is an opening to an underground room providing access to the water pipes. So just now I was taking, a, I was talking about the sewers, that is the smaller or bigger pipes which carry the wastewater from one place to another. So these pipes, they are all moving under the ground. Now, it is not a small system. You see so many houses present everywhere and all of all the sewage from all those houses are being connected through pipes and then they are all reaching one common big pipe. So th that in itself involves a lot of infrastructure under the ground. So we also need some access to control this entire underground system. For that purpose, we have manholes. So manholes are like you have leads here. So if you observe them closely, this is how it will look like. The lead will look something like this and it can be opened so when you open it so you get a big hole and through this hole you basically reach a room under the ground and from with from that room you can access the water pipes now why are these access points needed so these manholes are needed for uh, so that uh, workers can get access to make connections or inspections or make some maintenance work so for all these purposes manholes are used Normally manholes are found every 50 to 60 meters on the street. So as you walk down from your community, in fact, that way is manholes also tell you where exactly your sewer pipes are going. So when you come down your building, you get to, you walk for some, some few distance and then you see a manhole. So you should know that, okay, below the ground, it is, it has come to this manhole. And if you keep following that manhole, the, the manholes, as they keep coming one after another, you will actually get to see uh, the path in which the wastewater is being transported from your house to the 
main place where it is getting disposed of. So these manholes are generally found at the junction where two or more sewer pipes are meeting or at points where there is a change in direction. So normally that is they, those are the places where manholes are constructed so that through the through that room under the ground you can actually uh, you know uh, access multiple sewers because at that point multiple sewers are like uh, meeting. So this lead which covers the manhole uh, opening, they are, it is called the manhole lead and it is not that anybody can just open it. So it is kind of locked and only the authorized personnel can uh, open it. However, these days, uh, I'm not sure if you have come across, but a lot of news come in the newspaper that um, people fell down into the manhole because the lead was not properly closed or the lead was not at all there. So whenever there is a lid, lid missing in case of a manhole, uh, proper notification is given there. For example, here, these blockers have been put so that it comes to everyone's notice that, okay, there is a hole there. Otherwise, people might fall there and it can cause serious accidents. Accidents. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.